Okay, we're going to take a look at an app called Count to Ten by Seven Academy. Uh, before we go into the app, let's go ahead and have a look at the grown-up section on here. Enter a simple mathematical problem. And you'll come to a couple of things. You can create a new parental account that you can sign into your account. Now, if you do that, it'll give you feedback on how your child is doing with the app. It also lets you into another part of the app later on in the app that I will show you um, if you create that account. You can go into settings and you can have it in one of 12 different languages. You can turn the sound on and off. You can also send feedback and then you can find out a little bit about why the app was created and so on. So let's go ahead and have a look at the app. And let's just turn the volume up a little bit so we can hear this. And when you first open it, you come to the penguins. And the, the only thing that's unlocked will be the number one. Number two and number three will be locked. And then all of these will also be locked. So you have to follow your route and uh, basically unlock them. But I'll show you some of them and how they work. If you click on the globe, it'll tell you a little bit about the creature on the screen. are birds that live on an ice shore which is frozen ground located near the south pole of the earth. And he'll fill you in with some info there. And that is the same with every one here. So you can find out about moles, manta rays, and so on. So let's go back to the beginning and start with number one, and just show you how basic this is and how it works. Each of the penguins belly to start counting them. Let's go. One, there is one penguin. One, two, there are two penguins. One, two, three, there are And that will go three all the way up to ten. Now if we go back out to the main screen and click on number three, for example, here. Choose the right number on the ice cube without the whale's help. Listen carefully to what I say. So you have to identify the number of penguins. So you can touch them still. One, two, three, four, five. Six. You'll see the six, but when you press the last seven. one, the seven doesn't show. So you have to find the seven. There are seven penguins. And then I'll move on to the next problem. And with every level, there are ten uh, problems within that level. Let's go back out and show you one further on here. Let's go and look at the mole and look at number two. Now the lines will disappear, but I know you can trace numbers. Let's go. So this level teaches you how to trace numbers. And the lines have disappeared. In level one, the lines would stay on there, but you just follow the dots here. Great. Trace number two. And he eats the worms Good along job. the way. Let's skip out and go and show you level three on that one. What you'll see happens here. Now numbers are leaning left or right. Keep tracing numbers by eating all worms. Trace number one. And over time, if you don't do anything, you, the idea is to eat the worms, obviously, but the dots will slowly uh, disappear from the screen, making it slightly harder to do. As you go through the numbers. Great. Trace number two. So if we wait just a couple of seconds, you'll see the dots vanish. So now you've just got the worms in place there. So it makes it that little bit harder. And that goes all the way up to 10. So if we head on back out, let's have a look at the next level. You can also go to the rookie zone where you can practice tracing. Number three is the manta ray. Let's see what he's all about. Numbers and quantities. Move each sucker fish to a star. This is where you basically take the sucker fish and you one. stick him onto the star. One sucker fish, one star. And that'll go all the way through to 10. If you get to level three on this section. There are more fish than stars. Move the right number of sucker fish to the stars. So the numbers will be random up here and you'll have a number of fish that don't obviously one. equal the right amount and you have to get Two. that number matching. Three. Then you touch the manta ray. Three sucker fish, three stars. And then he moves on to another random number. So he'll come up with another one. Let's go back out and look at the next level. Elephants, identify quantities. Let's look at number two on this. Count each row of elephants and place the flag with the corresponding number in front of the right group. 
So the first level will start out with putting one elephant here, so on and so on, and this will all be numbered. But what you have to do now is do it yourself. There is one elephant. There are two elephants in this group. There are three elephants in this group. And so on, all the way up to number 10. There are four elephants in this group. And I'll show you the final level on this one. Place the right flag in front of the corresponding group. Then sort the groups from the biggest to the smallest. So they're all mixed up now and you have to place the numbers in the flags in the one correct places. Once you've done there that, are two elephants in this group. Once you've completed this, you there then are three elephants in this group. grab a group of elephants. This will become movable and you'll arrange it from one to ten. So you'll have one. to you'll have to create it all the way from one to ten. Let's go back out. And that brings us to the end here. Now in the Green Academy. What you have to do is once you sign up uh, with an account, it'll give you um, the rewards you get as you go through. You get certain rewards that actually get planted in the garden and then you can sort of manage your own garden section of the app. So you need to click on this and then sign up for an account. And that's how that works there. And you'll see you can grow any of these parts here. Or you can go back to anything through the app. You can actually click on other little games like a flashcard game within the app and this one is where um, you have to download and it'll send you by email uh, flashcards that you actually use within the app and it looks like uh, augmented uh, animation uh, within the app so it's kind of neat to see that going back out to the main app takes you back to the beginning so check it out it's called count to ten and it's by seven academy and uh, it's a lot of fun